Hello and welcome to the John Stoltrager Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Roy, show my seats, head swimming coach John Stoltrager. Coach, I got your seats a couple weeks ago at the uh, MAC Championship and overall pretty successful meet. Uh, the women were play six, uh, had a couple individual event wins. Just kind of take us through that and how the meet went for you. Uh, it was a great meet. Uh, we swam really, really well. I, I think we started things off um, the first night with a, a relay win over yep. Messiah in the two medley relay. Uh, we just missed the conference record by two tenths of a second, and I really think that set the tone for the entire weekend. Uh, after that, you know, things just kind of snowballed, and you know, the next day Melanie won the the two IM. Yep. Um, you know, the following days are probably one of our strongest days with the the hundreds of stroke, where you know Jules got third in the hundred breast. Um, you know, we had Colby take second by two one hundredths of a second in the hundred back, with Mel following a third, and and Izzy getting. Uh, a third place in her two IM or in her hundred back. So I mean, it was a, it was a great weekend. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, to finish six, you know, some of the, you know, obviously it's tough. You got smaller teams, so you don't have the depth that maybe some of the teams to finish ahead. You had sort of finish six is a great accomplishment. Yeah, obviously the coaches. Um, the congratulations, you being voted coach of the year for the second time in three years. But I think that a lot of that's a testament to how hard the kids work day in and day out. Yeah, I agree. I mean, Coach of the Year is a great thing. It's very humbling, you know, to, to be selected by the coaches, you know, and, and everyone's at the meet, so, you know, you get recognized in front of any, everyone, which is great, you know, but, and I've always said that it should be, uh, like, coach coaching staff of the year right. instead of Coach of the Year, because it does truly take a village, and, yeah. you know, my grad assistant did a great job this, this year, you know, Julie, she did a great job with the kids, and, and even MC, you know, yeah. with her, you know, our kids left three days a week, and her positive attitude and, and her enthusiasm and really helps it helps the team out and, and again so you know getting coaching year is great but it, but it really does take a lot of people to get that done yeah yeah absolutely obviously no no head coach in any sport is working by themselves whether it's their assistants since they're at the conditioning their training staff administration it all takes a like I said, it takes a village to have any successful program in any sport and again you you know i think you hit the nail right on the head with also the kids the kids you know obviously they're the ones putting in the work um, but they're accepting of what you're you're asking them to do, and, and they're following you, um, and just believing that things will work out in the end. And and it does take a, a, a leap of faith for them, and you know to see it work out where everyone swims really really fast, and and you know to get recognized as as a school is is kind of a cool thing. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, you lose uh, really the senior class is really your first class. It's kind of you know had a lot of success, but you have some returners coming back as well. They'll continue to have their impact. Forward. Yeah, um, you know, we, we do lose a, a, a bulk of our team and, and a lot of our leadership, but, you know, you hope for the, you know, the, the sophomores and the, and the juniors to kind of take on a, a, a role of leader for the freshmen that are coming in, yeah. you know, and and just have them, you know, let the freshmen know, believe in what we're doing and, and the, the process works and you just need to, you know, do what we ask you to do and how we ask you to do it and, and good things will happen. Yeah, absolutely. Now that, that kind of that culture has been established, so, hey, this is how we do things, and you know, this is the level that we want to be at, you know, it's like it sets up to the returners to kind of impart that in some of the newcomers next year. Yeah, and I think that's 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 how it will go. Um, you know, our the freshmen that we had this year, you know, did very well at the conference meet, and, you know, our sophomores and juniors um, did extremely well. So, you know, it is a learning process, but, you know, it's helped out by – you know, the upperclassmen just, just telling them to trust what we do and, and good things will happen. Yeah. All right, Coach, well, again, congratulations on a great season. Uh, and, you know, thanks for your time this year, and we'll chat again in the fall. Great. Thank you very much. All right. For John Soltrager, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the John Soltrager Show.